Google for Educators Training and Exam Explained. In this video, you'll find information about the Google for Educators Level 1 training and the Level 1 testing. Hey there! Now that you understand Google for Education, the basics of it, I want to talk about the actual Google for Education Level 1 exam that you will be taking. If you look, look under your Google Resources on Moodle, you will see a link to begin training. Once you click that, this is where it brings you. This is where you will do your training. You can do practice exercises, and this is also where you're going to go to register for your exam. So let's look at the fundamentals training real quick. Hopefully my internet's slow. Let me log in. Okay, so once you get into the teacher training, uh, the teacher center, it includes all the training modules. You will see that these are all different units. There are a total of 13 units. When you go inside, you will see that it's set up, uh, it shows you your learning objectives at the top, the products they'll cover, the skills you'll need, and then it has all these sections. At the end, there is a unit review. This unit review, you will need to actually go through and make sure you know the answers to it because you will take a unit review quiz before you actually take your exam. These quizzes, uh, unit reviews at the end of each review, you can take them as many times as you would like um, to get the correct score. So you will go through all 13 of those units and then you would be uh, prepared to take the unit review quiz. Um, now, when you are taking the exam, you'll go back to the home and register for exam. There are several things I do want to point out to you that I included in the Moodle site. Let's see if it'll do it. It's going back to the training. I'm going to pause real quick, get back on the page I want to get on, and be right back because I don't want y'all to have to suffer through all this slow internet. Okay, I am back where I want it to be. I am under the assignment, Google for Educators Training Certificate First uh, Attempt. You'll see up here that you get two attempts. 929 is when your first attempt is due and your second attempt is due by 11.5. Here's some really important information. Registration, it can take up to 48 hours to get your exam credentials to log in and take the exam. It can take up to 48 hours to get your results. Make sure you build that in when you're planning on when you should take your exam because you need to make sure you turn it in on time. If you don't register and get your credentials on time, that's considered late. If it's not submitted on time, it will fall under the late policy. Testing issues, if you're having any issues with login, testing problems, or receipt of results, you contact Google directly. Make sure you take a screenshot before you submit that Google form and keep that screenshot. You can give it to me and turn it in on Moodle if you need to, to get an extension. I understand you can't do anything about Google being late, so I want to try to work with you, but you have to have proof. So if you pass the test on the first attempt, yay, you get all of the points and um, you're done. If they will send you a certificate, you will save that certificate in your Google Drive and submit it in this first attempt. If you don't pass the exam on the second attempt, you have to wait 14 days, you have to register again, and you have to pay that $10 again. You still have to create a submission in this first attempt and turn it in by the due date. You'll get an email from Google that gives the percentage you got. If you did not pass, you'll need to turn in that percentage so that I can see what score you got on the exam. 80 or higher is a pass and we never know what the final score was. 79 or lower, they tell you the exact score in an email. If you make under 50% on your first attempt, you are required to schedule a remediation appointment with me so we can go over your areas of weakness. You will save um, PDFs or screenshots directly to your Google Drive and share them. 
but if you don't pass the exam on the second um, on the first attempt but you do on the second attempt and you turn in the second attempt on time then you'll get full points you get the exact same if you had passed it the first time if you do not pass it the first or second time and you raise your score then i will give you partial points so down here i explain that 45 points for the exam first or second attempt if you don't pass it but you turn in two proofs of attempt with the uh, showing a raise in score, you'll get 25 points. If you don't pass the exam either time and or if you don't turn in proof both times with a raise of score, you'll get zero points. And at the end, you will make a post and stick it on your course portfolio. We are not going to worry about that right now. That's something you will return to once we start the portfolio. As always, let me know what questions you have.